every day, brings along with it, new challenges, and unexpected issues. But when we commit our every day to God, He will take care of us. Do not start your day without the worker's prayer. Arise and shine, be blessed, together we are strong, fear not. Those were the words that God gave to Abram, fear not. Today, many of those who are, you know, distressed on account of fear, they're afraid of taking action, they're afraid of what the future holds, they're afraid of, you know, the challenges they experience in life, they're afraid of the problems that surround them, People, they are living in a constant state of fear. But when you learn to look up to God, when you learn to look up to the God of all creation, the God of Abraham, the God who made his name great, the God who enabled him to become a great and powerful nation, the frustrations and the fears that you have been entertaining inside of you will give room to satisfaction, fulfillment, because when the power of God comes upon one's life, everything changes. And this is exactly what we are talking about. We are talking about the power of God coming upon your life to bring about a total transformation to it. In order for you to better understand what we're saying, let us watch this testimony. Every area of my life, I would say that is complete. I've been married for 12 years now and I'm really happy married and the way I see my son focus now, he's really focused, he, he loves what he's doing and I'm so pleased to see him and my financial life today, I'm working the place I want to work, it's something that I'm very happy with but it wasn't always like this. The struggle that I was facing as a, a single mom was loneliness and I was on my own. I felt like nobody would want me because I've got the child. My self-esteem went really, really low. I, I didn't believe in myself. So I was like, there's nothing more to be done. Who will look at me? I have to work long hours to uh, manage even the rent which, where we were. So I didn't have time with him. So that contributed into him being away or doing whatever he was doing because all the stuff that I was not monitoring or was not supervising him, he was doing what he wanted to do. Sometimes, you know, it's difficult as a parent, especially a single parent. You're going out, you're doing things, but you don't have time to talk. When you sit down to talk to them, you realize they really need you, but you don't have time. Okay, I've provided food, go and sleep, you know, that kind of thing. So when I came to church, I was taught how to use my faith. For me, faith was a big word. How am I using my faith? And that's when we had helpers and explain to her how you're going to do practical things. For example, how am I going to bond with my son so that he will be able to listen and will be able to be this family that we're looking for. When you talk to them, you realize that they really need to talk, they really need to express themselves, they really want to hear your voice. So that helps because it was quite practical because I was not doing all those things. And for me, that helps to um, change and direct my son who he is today. So then I started attending. Uh, love life meetings which were we were told you know people like me who lost hope and one of the things that I really when I went in one of the things I really want to know how can I build myself up how can I build, bring back my self-esteem because I didn't have no self-esteem at all and through those meetings that's when we were told to love ourselves and for me it was like how and you know the simple things even the way you dress the way you look the way you smell and through those meetings I realized, you know what, I can't build up, I can't come up back. And I started building my self-confidence. And that's when I met my husband. And today we are happily married for 12 years. <laughs> and I'm happy. What I can say today is that don't lose hope. There is a way out. And most people think it's over. As I was thinking, I was in the same situation. But today I'm happily married. I've got a lovely son. My financial life has changed. So there is hope if you look for one. This God who has brought such a transformation to the life of many, he can also transform your life. You have a great opportunity to see it come to pass this Monday in our strong nation gathering of faith in our national headquarters, number 40, South Key Port of Spain. You will have such a tremendous experience with the power of God. And I guarantee you, 
that your life will not remain the same. Now is our moment of prayer, the worker's prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of Jesus, I call upon your name and I ask you to answer. Answer all those who now pray with us. Answer all those who now cry out to you. Those, my Father, who have been frustrated, disappointed. Those who have been bitter. Those who have suffered losses. Those who are in need of a door to be open for them. In order for them to see results. In order for them to accomplish. My God, in order for them to be successful. My God, time has come come and now it is that this person has to see you because for so long they have been looking for answers but they have not been able to find. I ask you to bless the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. I ask you to bless my God every citizen, every immigrant, our governors, the leaders, the ministers, the prime minister, the president. I ask you oh God to visit every ordinary citizen, those who are in pursuit of success, of an opportunity. I ask you to bless the hands of your people, the workers of our land who now pray with us. With victory, with blessing, we determine them blessed because in the same way that you reveal yourself to Abraham, in the same way that you transform his life totally in every form, in every possible way, you are going to transform the life of those who pray with us in this very hour. May your spirit come upon them because when your spirit descends upon one's life, everything change so we determine and so it shall be and those who agree say amen you are blessed believe it's going to come to pass this Monday you will have an experience with this great power that comes from above at five o'clock in our national headquarters number 40 South Key Port of Spain and in every universal church of the kingdom of God nationwide. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together we are strong. Many people have been forced to enter through the gates of injustice. Plans were made for 2020 and it was all shattered. The unwanted took over. Misery. Debts. Failure. Bankruptcy. Property losses. But not anymore. The opening of the gates of righteousness. Prosperity success, promotion, salary increase, new business opportunities. I will have all that I want, for it is written. Open to me the gates of righteousness, I will go through them, and I will praise the Lord. No more delay. It is now or now, Monday 5 p.m. Universal Church, number 40 South Key, Port of Spain, also in all the universal churches countrywide.